Hi, I'm Dan Chapman, founder of Red Remedies, and I want to talk today about a very simple theory from a good friend of mine, Dr. Gregory Jantz, uh, from a lecture he gave recently that I attended. And his theory is, why not? Why not do some things that can be good for you, especially if those healthy habits can have little or even no downside? So Dr. Jantz is the founder of the Center, A Place of Hope. It's a clinic in Edmonds, Washington, and it's one of the top 10 facilities on depression treatment in the United States. Dr. Jantz is an expert on depression, anxiety, eating disorders, technology addictions, that's an interesting one, and abuse. He's the best-selling author of 40 books, and we have partnered with Dr. Jantz to formulate five products in the emotional health category and sugar cravings. Dr. Jantz's approach to health fits very nicely with us at Red Remedies because we both look at the whole person. We don't look at just components. The body is whole and connected. And we realize that we can't separate the mind and the body and the spirit. We have to treat individuals as a whole if we're really going to help people get results. So why not? Let's get into this theory. There's three things that I'm going to talk about today of why not try them? Why not do these things in order to be healthy? And we're going to start with the brain. The reason I want to start with the brain is because the brain is the center. It's the brain is your controller. The body gets its signal from the brain. It's never the other way around. The brain does not take orders from the body. So if we don't have a healthy brain, it's going to be very difficult to have a healthy body. So we need to start there. And we need to start with being thankful, uh, having gratitude for the things that are in our lives. So we need to make sure that we try to find the ways to be positive, to find those positive things in our life and in our environment. We need to say thank you. We need to smile. We need to laugh. We need to find joy in every moment in every day. Hard to do, I realize but we can be focused on those things and we can truly find something every day to be thankful for. And that habit alone of being thankful and having an attitude where we're grateful for the things around us and in our lives will improve our health, that alone. We know that research shows us that will improve our heart, our cardiovascular system. It will actually improve our immunity. It will improve our digestive system. And if we have good digestion, we're gonna absorb nutrients from the food that we're eating. And maybe the best part about this is being thankful, that type of an attitude spreads to those around us. So we can spread health for ourselves and those around us. We know that positive words like peace and love literally change our brain and the way that our brain functions. Those words have such a positive impact in our, the way that we feel and the way that we think. L literally, words of love and peace. At the same time, we know contrary to that, words like hate um, and anger can also change the way that our brain thinks and feels. So it's very important that we have time to love ourselves and those around us. So make sure that you don't forget to be loving to yourself. Words are essential, so be kind. Number two is exercise. We need to move. We know that research also tells us that light exercise, even a brisk walk for 20 or 30 minutes, three times a week, works better that for mild to moderate depression than medication, just to walk. And if we can do that walk outside, and with a friend and in some sunshine, if that's available uh, on that day, that's even better for us. So it's very important that we, that we have an opportunity to move. So we don't need to necessarily have a gym membership. We don't need to work out for an hour five times a week. We just need to move and be active a couple of times a week in order to make sure that our body is healthy. And if you don't have the ability to be outside, uh, maybe you're um, in a small apartment and the weather is not good outside, um, just make sure that you have some ability to move the body. And so there's a philosophy known as rebounding. So sometimes all you need to do is just to bounce. So if you can stand up and do that, that's great. If you have to sit down and do that, that's okay. And the reason that we want to rebound and move the muscles and move the body 
is because we know we have two circulatory systems. The first is the cardiovascular system and the heart is the center of that, which is the pump to move blood through that circulatory system. But we have a second circulatory system in our body, which is the lymphatic system. There's no pump for the lymphatic system except our own movement and our muscles that are pumping the lymph. So that's why it's so important to move and to make sure that we have some ability to, uh, if we're not walking or jogging, just to rebound, just to move our body and move our muscles and move that lymphatic system, which is gonna help the immune system and it's gonna help move uh, toxins and waste out of the body. So exercise and movement is essential. So why not give it a try? And number three is food. Why not give it a try to eat one healthy food that you don't normally eat? Let's, let's make one healthy habit of eating something that's good for you that you don't normally do. And I know the cost of eating healthy is not that different, especially if we're used to eating something that might be a prepared food or a box food or like a box cereal or something like that. It can take a little bit more effort to do this, but you know, maybe pay attention to um, a weakness that you might have. So I'm gonna tell you a, a weakness for me is ice cream. I love a bowl of ice cream. But what I realize is what I'm really enjoying is I like something that's cold and a little bit sweet. And so I put blueberries in my freezer at home and when I have that craving for ice cream, I'll get a nice little bowl of blueberries and I enjoy that just as much as I enjoy a bowl of ice cream and I feel so much better afterwards. So what is it that might be your weakness where you're eating something that isn't as good for you and, and try to plan for those moments so you can make a better choice there. This is so important because those micronutrients, the vitamins and minerals and the trace minerals and all of those phytonutrients, all of those colors are so good for us and essential. We need to eat things that are alive. The enzymes and the nutrients in a frozen blueberry is so much better for me than the sugar and cream that's in ice cream, okay? So let's do something that's healthy for us when it comes to food. And so three healthy why nots, a positive attitude, and it can just be small things. Movement, it doesn't have to be a workout. It can be just small movements and a habit to do that. And then number three, a habit to eat something better today than you ate last week. Thanks so much for listening. And remember that today can be your day to start living a better life.